Hey what's up Amnesio Cole and it seems like out of nowhere Life is Strange 4 Double Exposure was announced and it involves Max and I'm just gonna play the trailer real quick and then I'll talk about my thoughts after. I swore I'd never use my power again. But two nights ago... I found my friend's body in the woods. I don't know who I can trust. Or who trusts me. But my friend Safi... It's dead. Max. So why can I still hear her voice? Max. Focusing my power, I somehow shifted into a parallel timeline. Here, Sophie is still alive. The danger stalks are every step. And only I can investigate both realities. They are parallel world? It's the same as this one, except you're dead. I can still save Safi. If I can solve and prevent the same murder across two timelines. So yeah, that was insane. I had no idea this was going on. I, I knew that there was some game events going on today. Uh, uh, like I know Black Ops 6 was gonna be announced and a couple other things, but I had no idea that Life is Strange uh, 4 was even close to being announced. So obviously there's a lot to talk about. Obviously Max Caulfield is back. I never thought I would say those words. Really excited to see her in another game with her powers. Her new character model seems pretty cool. Obviously, this takes place a long time after the events of the original Life is Strange. And how old she is kind of depends on what timeline they go with. So if they're going from the original game timeline, I believe that was set in fall of 2013, and the game was released in 2015. She was 18 in the first game, so that would make her, I believe, 27 now. That's fast math. I'm not really thinking straight right now. That also brings up a very huge point of which ending they're going to make canon, because as you guys know, the original Life is Strange was developed by Don't Nod, and this one was developed by Deck Nine. I wonder if they'll do a thing like at the start of Life is Strange 2 where they ask you which choice that you made at the end of the game. I didn't recognize anyone else in that trailer from the original game or any of the previous games, but let me know if I missed something. It looks like her powers have been upgraded. It kind of reminds me of a mix between, at least the visual style, a mix between Max and Alex. And it's also nice to see that she's still into photography. Uh, there was a double moon reference, I, I believe that is a nod to the first game near the end of the world party. And they also announced that it would be released on October 29th. That was a lot of information, I have no idea where this even came from. I had heard some rumblings about, uh, well, there were some issues, workplace issues at Deck Nine, and then from that leak it was also leaked that, uh, that there was a Life is Strange 4 in production, but I didn't really, I don't really believe leaks, uh, I like, I, I don't like to take leaks too seriously until I hear anything from the developers. This was an absolutely insane announcement. I did not expect at all. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Let me know down in the comment section below. Were you expecting this? What do you think about the new Max? And did I miss anything from the trailer? Because this is literally like 30 seconds after watching the trailer. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.